And this view from NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg's helmet camera as he works to pick up the articulating portable foot restraint from the port seat cart. Benny, just reporting the locking paddles on this ATFR is very sticky. Copy, sticky locking paddle, Woody. Working on it. Uh, the paddles. Copy the paddles. Woody, this is in line with what we expect for this APFR. Copy a TCV of two for Woody. Negative seven. Copy seven. All right, just uh, confirming that the adjustable large small goes to zero zero. Zero eight, and the integral goes to the upper handrail. A firm, that's right, uh, Steve. That handrail should be thirteen. Once that's done, I'll take a glove inspection half check. And while Hoberg works to secure that articulating portable foot restraint after grabbing it from the port seat of cart, we are going to hear Bowen complete a glove and hap check. You're headed to the inboard ingress location. The hap is the helmet absorption pad. And this is checked regularly throughout the spacewalk along with the gloves just to ensure that everything is performing as expected. With the articulating portable foot restraint now in hand, Hoberg is going to work to install it on the Canada Arm 2. All right, I've got the integral on 0013 and the large small adjustable on 008. Copy. Just back up a little bit. Woody, I have your next step, right. working with Frank to GCA to the published APFR install position. All right, James, I agree. Uh, Steve, do you need the comm? Just for one second, I'm going to head over to R5 on the upper. And I see it. And what am I setting there, Jenny, if I'm going to lose talk? And Steve, can you confirm that you've picked up the PGT? I left the ret on the bag, so that's now on your swing arm, and I need a glove inspection hat check. Okay, do the glove inspection hat check first. And you. We were getting a view there briefly of the IROSAs. There we see it again here, the International Space Station rollout arrays. There's two on that pallet on the very left of your screen. One of them is going to be installed today, and the other will be installed on. June 15th. We're also getting a view of the Canada Arm 2, which Hoberg will be utilizing today when he moves the IROSA to the 1A power channel. All right, Jenny, I have the PGT, and we'll leave this rat on here, correct? A firm, leave the ret on your swing, or leave the ret on the bag and ret swap to the swing arm ret. 
And also in your frame there you can see a Dragon vehicle that actually brought up the ISS rollout solar arrays. That Dragon docked to the International Space Station on Monday. Following the docking, the ISS rollout solar arrays were removed from Dragon's trunk and placed on that pallet that you just saw there. And next our spacewalkers are going to work to remove that first IROSA solar array by um, removing some bolts and working through some procedures to loosen it up before it can be hand carried by Hoberg on the robotic arm. Have a meter to go. Continue. Copy, continue. Ready to go. Continue to publish. Ten to go, continue to publish. And ramping out. Okay, we did that is our uh, published position. How is it how's that looking? All right, Photon, can you please give me five zero centimeters station mater? Copy with the uh, half a meter station mater in work. Thank you. I see good motion. Copy, good motion. Okay, 30 centimeters to go. Continue. Continuing. Ramping out. Okay, we do that is half a meter station later. Copy, Sultan. That is uh, GCA complete. That's a perfect position. All right, copy GCA complete, and brakes are coming on. Copy, brakes on. Bravo. And I'll be installing the APFR. Woody, we're looking That's for. That's affirmative. You are go to install the APFR. Woody, we're looking for a clocking of 12. Copy, clocking 12, and I already confirmed Papa, Papa, Fox 6 set. Good settings. Steve, I'm back with you. Thanks, Jim. Five turns, five or two, counterclockwise two. And both are releasing R5. Copy, the boat will spring out when fully released, and you'll see a white line indicator. Expect 18 to 20 turns. Hoberg continuing to step through procedures to get that articulating portable foot restraint installed on the Canada Arm 2. This articulating portable foot restraint, or APFR, allows him to click his spacewalking boots into it so that he can ride aboard the Canada Arm 2. He'll be carrying the IROSA while he does so, 